Hey y'all, welcome back or welcome if you're new. My name is Sheena and if you haven't already, please hit the like and subscribe button and let's go ahead and get into today's set. So for today's set, I'm using this daydream poly gel so I'm jumping right in to what I'll be doing. And it was supposed to be yet another quick poly gel, poly gel tutorial. Um, but I did go wrong in some certain ways on this particular set. So it's not a tutorial. I'm just going to basically show me doing a nail set that I really enjoyed wearing and that I'm actually still wearing right now as we speak. Um, but the tips I'm using are Born Pretty's coffin tips out of their 6-in-1 nail glue tip um, kit. Um, and I really like these tips. They're pretty sturdy. Um, I need to check and see if they sell them individually because these are definitely a go-to for me now. Like, I really like them. The length is perfect for, like, my everyday life. Um, and so, yeah, I really, really enjoyed them. Um, so what I'm doing now, because we're doing a poly gel set, is going over all of my nails with a layer of base coat gel. And I'm going to cure for 60 seconds. The base coat gel that I'm putting on actually helps the poly gel adhere better to the nail. So it's always recommended to start off with base gel before going in with your poly gel. The set on the right was the video that I posted just yesterday, my ladybug set, and it posted late. Um, this was a video that was supposed to be out Tuesday, and I don't know if anyone else has this problem, but um, if you're a creator, comment down below and let me know. But certain days I want to upload my videos. Sometimes YouTube uploads them quick, sometimes it's really draggy and laggy, and you know, my service, my internet service is pretty great, so... I know it's not there, um, but comment down below because I'm like really curious, do you all have that problem? Now normally I would like to upload like well before the day because I have my videos ready, but I am not able to do that until my last video post just because I like to do subscriber shout outs when you comment on my videos. Um, and in order to give you a shout out from the previous video, that video has to have been posted. So that kind of messes me up in a way because, I mean, right now I have like, after this video, I think I have like three more that I can upload. Um, and I could actually schedule them to go on the day that I want them to go and they would be set, ready to go. I wouldn't have to worry about a thing. But I definitely like to show appreciation to those who come and show me love on my video. So I would have to wait for this video to post that I'm doing now and, you know, for it to, to work out. So, yeah, that does cause a little, you know, strife. <laughs> but getting back into the nail set, I am taking Daydream. And like I did in my previous video, I'm doing the two beat method with the poly gel application so i squeezed it out of the tube from the where the, the tip and the natural meat to the free edge i'm now just going ahead and patting it all over the nail and then i'm going to go in and just smooth everything out today's slip solution is just 91 percent alcohol i didn't pull out my trusty dusty slip solution from beetles um, and didn't even realize it so i got like a little bit more into the set and then i was like oh well, it's pretty nice with just alcohol. You know, I haven't used just alcohol on a set in a while, but it was really, really nice. Um, and of course, we know that McCart's consistency of poly gel is pretty great. Now, I do want to say um, that when you're doing the two bead method, that first bead, you do want to make sure that you are smoothing it and blending it back a bit. You do not want to leave a hump there. So you want to blend back a bit. Um, and I did do that on this first nail and it's still messed up and I will be you'll be able to see that I'm only going to show two nails on camera because the application for this was like a total disaster I did fix it with some filing and shaping but like it was disastrous it was bad and it's so sad because this is my dominant hand the the nail set on the right you see on my hand it's my, I use my non-dominant hand and it looks so nice, so crisp. And what you're seeing now on the right hand, I didn't even, I haven't even found or shaped or buffed it yet. That's just application only. So yeah, crazy. Um, but now I'm going in with 
daydream again and so what on this set what i messed up and did and i probably shouldn't have did was i went in and try, tried to do all of the free edge areas of the nails first now and the reason why is because mccart's poly gel is pretty firm so i normally don't have a problem with it moving shifting or doing anything when i am doing more than one nail i'm very used to doing one, more than one nail but for some reason and maybe i might have used like a little more slip solution not really sure what it was but for some reason all of the tips I did I you know blended it back well enough and then when I went to, to cure I really didn't do a second check I just kind of put my my hand in the lamp and cure for 60 seconds and most of the time you put your hand in there 15 seconds your poly gel is cured um so by the time i realized oh god i didn't even check them and i took my hand out to look at it it was cured so it cured like i guess as i was going nail by nail by nail the poly gel was slowly moving and it was making like really big like lumps um, on to the right side of the nail so you'll see though because I'm going to show two of the nails of how they looked after they cured and that ended up happening to pretty much all of them except for the thumb and then once I did finish all the cuticle areas I forgot that I didn't cure like my four fingers and then I went to do my thumb and I as I was curing under the lamp I hit my pinky and oh it was it was horrible <laughs> so I, I cut all of that out and yeah like I said poly gel is an easy product to work with so it was fixed with filing and shaping no big deal um so once I got all four fingers set with the just the top portion of the nail again like i said i cured but i'll let you finish watching me do this last tip here So now I'm going in with the second bead on all of the nails and as you see on my index there is a cured portion on the first bead that made like a really nice bubble um, and I was kind of disappointed and kind of wanted to start over but then I realized you know poly gel is an easy product to work with so I'm just going to try to work around that and still build my nail up as well as I can and go from there so I'm just taking the second bead as I normally would and just making it flush by the cuticle and then I'll bring that down and blend it into the first bead trying to also create an apex at the same time and I just kind of had to work around that little cured bubble the best that I could and it was okay like I said it came out okay it looks pretty bad here as I'm doing it if I must say like I was even embarrassed to like show this but I also wanted to show it because you know we all make mistakes and we think one way works and it really doesn't so a tip from from me to you is always do one nail at a time and just kind of flash cure um, I got so comfortable with doing multiple nails that I forgot things can change like all of my cards poly gel is pretty firm but some of the consistency I noticed in some of the poly gels are a little softer which may cause a little running so I can't assume that they're all exactly the same and this one definitely showed me otherwise <laughs> So I'm just doing the cuticle bead on the middle finger and I'll do the rest off camera but I'll let you continue watching. After all of the cuticle area is placed then I do another 60 second cure in my lamp and when I come back I'm already going to file shape and buff off camera because it was horrible guys. And this is how the nails are looking after they were file shaped and buffed and they're okay like i just couldn't believe how bad i did with my dominant hand but i'm using madame glam polishes today so i'm using hollywood which is a super light pink rodeo drive another very nice shade of pink as well i'm also going to use sundays which is a super pretty yellow that i just received and lastly i'm going to use mahalo from Madam Glam as well. Um, and then I'm also going to be using Noir and Blanc from McCart, a black and white. 
the staple colors that you always need well actually i didn't use blanc i ended up using hollywood as blanc so the pink is so light that i was able to do that and i was just showing you my ladybug set that i just did but i'll link that in the cards if you have not checked that out and now i'm going over all of the nails with a layer of top coat because i'm going to start in with my nail art and top coat for me um i use it just because um, it will it helps like if I am drawing something like what I'm doing today with a lot of different angles and things like that um, If I make any kind of mistake, it's super easy to wipe off and you don't leave any of that gel polish residue So that's why I like to apply top coat, <clears throat> but yeah, I'm top coating and then I'll cure in my lamp for 60 seconds So now I'm going in on my index and I'm starting my French tip. And I got this from uh, Vanity Fowl. So I'm just making a T and then I'll take the lines and bring it into the, the center of that T to create my French tip. Because I had forgot how to do the A method um, and I could just remember this one. So I did this French tip hack instead. Um, and so now I'm just still trying to line everything up and then I'll use the gel the gel uh, polish brush and nail art brush to fill the top portion of this with Hollywood. And you see how light pink that is? It looks almost white. So the rest of the video is going to be sped up because there's so much going on, so much detail. Um, I'm trying not to show everything, but I also like to show everything just in case someone is interested in doing the design that I also attempted to. Um, and guys, my voiceover right now I'm doing, this is like three days I've been trying to do this voiceover because the video was so long and I just didn't know what to cut out because I did want to show all of my work. So I was really confused on what to cut out. And so they just opted to go with a full sped up video just to kind of help things move along at this point. Um, so if I sound a little crazy at this portion in my voiceover, I am just waking up. And so I'm trying to get it together so I can get it out today, which is Saturday. But this video should have been out Thursday, technically, for my schedule. I just, I don't know. I just didn't know what to do with it as far as how long the video was. So I kind of didn't even post Thursday. Um, but yeah, so I showed two nails on camera of how I got my French tip together. Um, but once I get all of the French tips set, I'll be back just to show you how they look and start in with the actual design. So once I got all the French tips set, I'm now going in with a layer of top coat over the French tips. Um, because again, I'm going to do nail art <laughs> and so I want to make sure I have that smooth layer so that if I make any mistakes, I can just wipe it right off and then I cure for 60 seconds. So now I'm going in and starting the design and I'm going to place a photo up of my inspiration which inspired me to do this set. Um, I don't know who to give credit to on this one. I can't even remember where I got the photo from, but if anyone knows, give that person a shout out, let me know so I can shout them out. But I like designs like this, really abstract and like pop art to me are super fun. Um, so I was super excited to give this a try. Um, it just, for me, these type of designs help with my lines. It helps me to get better with a nail art brush line wise. Um, that way I can get more into the things that I really want to get into. If you've been following me, then you know that I've been wanting to do characters. Um, that's something I'm really, really interested in. I can definitely draw a, a character on a piece of paper. It's just a whole nother light to me with a nail art brush. It's super different. Um, so yeah, I've been a little intimidated to actually just jump in there and try to draw a character but I definitely want to do a character series where I am drawing different characters on nails and different themes on nails that's 
pretty much what I want to do. I just don't know <laughs> when I'm going to jump in there and do it because I'm just so intimidated. And like, like I said, I've drawn stuff out on my nail book, like characters. So I know I can do it. It's just a matter of putting it onto a nail that kind of has me like a little bit nervous. So I'm going to get there. So I'm taking Sundays. Oops, sorry about that. That's my keys. I'm taking Sundays and I am... Um, starting off the design with this like piece of abstractness I don't even know how to describe <laughs> the design that I'm gonna do today guys and I really don't want to just have like a video with just music comment down below and let me know if you're okay with a video with just music or do you prefer me to talk um, I do want to like start in my videos like talking about different things maybe and like not things that will cause controversy or like but I don't know I'm trying to still figure that out because I do like to talk I mean I don't have many people to talk to <laughs> but the ones that I do they know that I do like to talk and I like to talk about intellectual things and things that make sense and you know so I'm still trying to figure that out but I'll get there um, and basically with the design here, I'm just doing a lot of different things. So now I'm using Rodeo Drive and making dots in the bottom portion of that uh, yellow. And after everything I do, I do go ahead and cure my lamp for about 15 seconds. Now I'm taking Noir and going in with some dots right above that in that section of the yellow. Super cute. Mahalo is going on the right in like a triangle shape. And so the blue that I chose to use is a bit darker than the blue in the photo that I showed. But the reason why is because I just wanted to use Madame Glam products. And I did have another shade, Aloha. I could have used that was a bit lighter or I could have mixed the two to try to see what I can create. But I just decided to go with Mahalo because I thought it was just a really pretty blue. Um, and I'm not a blue fan like that. So yeah, it caught me. At the tip of this nail, the last piece of the, the design is me going in with some triangles right over Hollywood and then I cure and this nail is set and ready. So these French tips remind me of like comic book. Well, my sister brought it to my attention. It reminds me of comic books. So really fun, festive. I love it. I had a lot of fun doing this design because um, nail art is like a passion of mine. Like I really, really love it. Like I really... I don't know if you guys are into nail, like, nail art like I am, so I try to stick to a lot of simpler designs and just, you know, basic beginner-friendly things that anyone can do, because technically I do want to help if someone is like doubting themselves or whatnot, I, I do want to help. So I try to keep it simple, but every now and again, you will see me throw in, if you've been watching my channel, stuff like this that's a little more intricate, takes a little more time. Um, a little more patience because it's really what I like like I really really enjoy drawing on this very small canvas it just like does something to me it's a really really nice feeling so on my middle finger I went in diagonally with Sundays now I'm just making some random dots in the nails with Sundays um, I'm then gonna go in and outline all of this um, and I can't even remember oh actually I got the nails on y'all I'm tripping so yeah <laughs> then I go in um, and make all of my lines so like I made a black line towards the bottom half of that fringe um, because it just separates the bottom portion of that design that's going to be there um, but again guys I overly enjoyed this design it was so much fun in this nail here I'm also going to place some pink lines in the bottom yellow portion, some black dots at the top diagonal portion, some black lines right into the center of that going vertically. So yeah, I'm gonna let you watch that. But before I let you watch some of the design, I do hope that everyone is having an amazing morning, afternoon, evening, or night. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much to anyone that takes their time to watch my videos. I greatly appreciate it. This one is a bit long and it's just because of all of the nail art. So if you're not into that, I do apologize, but I would love it if you'd stay and watch because they did come out super amazing. 
Um, and I'm just grateful for anyone that does take their time to watch. But if you're watching and you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Also put a like on the video because that helps your girl out a lot. If you're watching and you're not subscribed, just at least like the video. That will definitely help me and I'll be grateful, very grateful for that. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the Nail Addict family and I thank you so, so very much for joining me on my nail journey. If there's anything you'd like to see on the, the channel or you want me to try, just comment down below and let me know and I will definitely get that going for you. I do subscriber request videos, so if you, uh, you know, suggest something, um, I basically will do the design that you'd like to see and give you a shout out in that video. Um, my last subscriber request video, I kind of messed up, but I've been kind of off lately, so yeah, I'll do better. <laughs> So, um, and if you've been subscribed to my channel, I thank you so much as well. I'm really grateful for you all. Um, I love every single one of you and I do like to brag on my subscribers because I have some pretty loyal ones, some pretty regular ones that always show up and show out for me and I just am very thankful and grateful for you all because if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't even continue YouTube. So thank you so much for showing up for me and I love you all. So moving over to the ring finger, on the ring finger it was a little bit of extraness so at the bottom on the left here, you see me going in with Rodale Drive to make a little portion of the nail there. Then on the right side, I do go in with Sundays and complete the bottom half of that French there. In the middle, I'm going to go in with Mahalo and a triangle on this one of Sundays. Um, and then I'll go up towards the top and make a line of Rodale Drive, a line of Noor, two... Um, triangles with the noir color so it's a lot going on in this actual design on this finger but like i said again i love stuff like this like this is like okay not to wear because like they're really pretty um but i've been wearing them now all week and i'm kind of like over them like i want to take them off and the purpose for me was to wear these for like two weeks because i have videos already lined up ready to go just have to do voiceovers so i'm pretty much set to be able to wear two weeks worth of dales going forward which is something i want to do but i'm definitely going to take them off today they're very pretty now i've gotten so many compliments on them thus far but they're just not I don't know i just think i'm over it now like they're so so pretty though like i love all of the details i put into this design i just feel like it was for a video or like maybe for someone who really really likes stuff like this all the time you know it would look nice on them to wear but i feel like for me i'm pretty much over this design on my hands um and i kind of wish i would have did two of the ladybugs because that one out of this week's designs was my favorite on my hand um so yeah i don't know but yeah it's okay <laughs> now i'm going in like i told y'all with my hollow and just filling in the middle portion of this nail and i just love this blue it's so so pretty if you guys are not familiar with madam glam um, gel polishes they are vegan cruelty 21 free hema free non-formula free gel polishes so super safe um, and that's like the best part of their polishes for me is that they don't have any harsh chemicals in them that normal gel polishes do. And yeah, I just wanted to kind of showcase their colors. And like I have a mixture of collections that I'm using today because um, every month they do come out with different collections. And that's also another thing I like. If you go to their website, they have so many different choices for you to choose from and then every month they're still coming out with more and more and more <laughs> collections like it's amazing that they can just continue to create just beautiful shades every month is absolutely amazing um so yeah they are a go-to company for me 
And again, if you're interested in anything, I always have my discount code linked down below for Madam Glam. I do give a 30% discount for myself and you all. So um, if you're interested in anything, I would say definitely do it. The gel polishes are worth it. I've never had a problem with any of them. Um, and yeah, just really, really pigmented. So Rodeo Drive, which is what I'm using now, came from their Glamour Fame and Power collection a while back. I believe it's like an April collection. And then Sundays, this yellow that I'm using is actually this month's collection, the collection, the August collection. Um, and this is like a Hawaii, Hawaii type themed uh, collection set very very nice like i overly enjoyed this month's collection and if you have not checked out that video i actually did two videos on this month's collection with madame glam just because um it came with eight shades and like when i get pr i like to try to use all the shades and i couldn't use them all in one video um it was more shades that went with you know together than others so I did do two separate videos kind of introducing that collection um, because they had like a lot of fall tones that went together and then they had three other shades to me that kind of went together so I ended up making two different videos to introduce that collection and if you have not seen them I'm gonna go ahead and link them both in the cards up here somewhere so you guys can just click right there and check those videos out I think that you'll enjoy them. Both of those designs were very, very cool, very, very nice. Um, so now I'm on my pinky and I just made two like, um, like rank, rectangular portions and I filled both sides in with lines. So the side with Sundays was filled with lines with Rodale Drive. And, and with that pinky, I kind of just didn't even finish it on camera because it's just already it was super long. Um, and my thumb, I definitely did off camera, but I would say my thumb is my absolute favorite. So that's how come it just jumped like that. You didn't get to see me finish my pinky. Um, but now I'm just going in and I'm matte top coating everything. So I thought I wanted to do these nails in matte because a lot of time with designs like this or pop art, I feel like it looks a lot better with matte. So right now I'm going in with a Beatles matte top coat. Um, on all of the nails making sure I get everything because with matte you do want to make sure you're like getting every piece of that nail because if you don't you'll be able to see once you cure it'll still be like shiny portion so really important to try to get everything every piece of the nail when doing a matte nail because that's just not a good look <laughs> and obviously you would have to go back over it again just to get everything right but here's the finished set and this is the matte look i mean it doesn't look horrible i just didn't feel like it gave me anything and then i did forget to do the cuticle design that was there but i didn't feel like it needed it so like yeah i was just looking at the nails matte and i'm like mm, i don't know like it, it it just i mean it was it's cute now don't get me wrong it's cute but i just felt like it was off i don't know so y'all comment down below and let me know what y'all think of this matte, the, the matte look on this design. If you've made it this far, go, don't go. <laughs> if you've made it this far, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my future sets. So then guys, I came back with it shiny and added just a touch of bling onto the middle, two middle nails. And I liked it so much more with a glossy top coat and just a little touch of bling. But let me know which one you like better. Did you like the matte look better or did you like the glossy look better? For me, I am choosing glossy. I thank you all for joining me today and I'll see you all in my next one. Remember to be the best you that you can be and much love to you all.